Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can convert your app UI into a web UI or a web UI into an app UI instantly. Just a few minutes and your website design will be converted into an app design and vice versa. For this you don't need to download any new tool or anything else. Everything will be done in Figma. So open up your Figma and without further ado, let's just get started. And before we even begin, if you see that the subscribe button is still red, make sure you click on that and click on the bell icon as well so that you don't miss out on these awesome videos every Monday and Thursday. All right, guys, so we have a nice little web page right here with different kinds of sections that you would generally see on most uh, websites or web designs out there. Now, this is something that I picked from Landify, which is a great UI kit. You can even pick stuff up from. But again, you can use this with any web design or app design that you have created on your own as well. So to go from web to app UI is gonna be simple. The same methods will be used to go from app to web UI as well. So remember that and keep that in mind. So first of all, we're gonna create a new artboard. Just click on A on your keyboard and go to this section on the right here and under phone you will have the iPhone 13 which is the general regular size more or less 390 is fine of course you can set it to any width that you like now as a next step what we are going to do is we're going to use a plugin to make sure everything switches sizes easily it's called breakpoints by flowware and it allows you to create breakpoints for different screens so mobile screen will have a different breakpoint a web screen will have a different breakpoint just so that you can quickly responsify everything. We're gonna say breakpoints. Just say Command P or Control P on your keyboard and type in breakpoints. So select existing layout or create a new one. So we have an existing layout, which is the web layout, and we'll say new adaptive layout. So now this will create a common layout, which will reflect all these websites equally. Now I'll say add first point. So the first point will be 600 to 900 and then you can keep on adding new points so it will increase in width increase in size and each size will have a certain selection so for example this is 1440p so here we will make sure that it extends up to 1440 so 1600 is fine we can change it to 1440 instead if that's the maximum size you want to go so now you have different sizes for different screens. Again, make sure that the height of this section is also, you know, large enough to kind of fit in the entire website. So now I will click on one of these plus on the right one for 1440, the plus icon, and then select this sample preview web page. Uh, see how it then fits it into here. Of course, any white space you can then adjust by just manually adjusting the size here. And as you can see, this will now fit like that. So for the mobile, of course, you can set this to 320, 340, whatever you like. 320 would be also a good starting point. So in this case, you can then add the 320 size here. And then you can select the frame as this one. So whenever I resize this like this, it will set according to our pages like that. Just so that you can see everything in real time. And if you want to show the responsiveness and adaptiveness, you can show it with this artboard on the left. Now we will go on with adjusting everything on this screen and that we will do in a few short clicks. So for our first conversion, we will take this hero section, which includes this landing page UI kit title and button with this image right here. So we will, we are just gonna double click and click on the hero section here, paste it inside this artboard like this. Of course, nothing really fits in this. We'll just press K on our keyboard and then adjust the size like this. Don't worry, we will get to the sizing and everything in a second. All right, so the next step in the process is to download a plugin called Auto Layout Styles from Figma Community. This is a great plugin that has a lot of presets for different kinds of auto layouts and layouts in general. So we're gonna go back to our designs and as you can see, I've set up two sections right here, far apart from each other because each section will expand vertically. Again, you can do the same thing as I mentioned in the first step uh, once again, and that is all that you would need to do essentially. Now for the first section, of course, make sure that this image or whatever, first of all, is, uh, you know, any excess is not here. So these two elements are exceeding the limit of this area. 
So we're just going to remove it and make sure that this frame is sized accordingly as well. That's it. Hopefully if you have a image or an illustration, it will be much easier in that case. So now I will say auto layout, command P and auto. And under this, you have auto layout styles. That is what I want. So as you can see, auto layout styles has a bunch of presets. Of course, you can add your own custom presets, but for this one, we'll be using these presets right here. So for this one, it has a small layout plugin. That means if we're making a mobile UI, this will work well. And you can even name it a hook. So in this case, I can say mobile and uh, I can change the emoji as well if I like. Of course, for all the others, you can name it separately. But for this, mobile is good. And the next step is to make sure that there is padding. So on the left and the right, I will have 16 pixels of padding and as well as on the left so that we can maintain the 16 pixel padding on the mobiles here. So once I'm happy with all these values, I'll say apply. As you can see, it applies it right here. However, the image, since it's a frame right here won't expand properly. We won't be changing the text size because that we'll be doing in the next step. For this one as well, there is this section right here, which needs to be vertically aligned. And in this case, I'll, of course, it's applied auto layout to each row. So I'll select each row and say apply. Ah, see how it's just applying the auto layout here. I'll then expand this completely and just say, and then make sure under this alignment, I set the alignment to center. So you have all this alignment ready to go. So now we have two sections ready to go. I'm just gonna make sure that they're aligned properly. And that's about it. Now the next step is to scale things, including the text, the buttons accordingly. And that also has a quick shortcut to do that. I'm going, to I'm going to close this auto layout styles plugin right here. So the next plugin we're going to use is called scale, S-K-L-E, simple. And it's by Jan6, so thank you for that. Now, if I, I'm going to install this, I'm going to go back to my project. So I've already selected my, this hero text session with, which has this button as well. I'm going to say scale, type it like that. And now I can even set whether I want it centered on the right or whatever. So centered is fine. Scale, I'm going to give it a two, so it's gonna double in size essentially. As you can see, everything is happening live. So in this case, I can just live edit things without having any issues. I can even set the width to 320, which is the mobile width in this case. So it fits exactly with the mobile width. I might give, uh, I might give it 294 because that is minus the padding. Uh, 294 is perfect with the padding, etc. It also changes the text size height adjusts automatically, but I love how it centers it as well and I can live edit things. So it's scaling accordingly and I don't have to figure out whether the scale will be right or not. Some things, some smaller edits you have to make things like the smaller text might not scale very well, especially if it's in multiple lines, but even the button has scaled pretty well. And you can then go ahead and scale individually. Once you have a, good size of the whole section, you can then scale individually each of these elements, again, center it or left align it, whatever you like. Awesome, everything looks good and this helps you to scale everything with actual numbers in real time. That's what I like the most about it. The second section will give us a better opportunity because it's a little more detailed to see actually how this will work. Again, I am going to left align this one in this case and scale I won't touch the scale here. I'll rather I'll choose the width. This case again, it's 294. Okay, so it's a little buggy. So while it's doing it, sometimes bugs out and the numbers duplicate. So just make sure you have to, sometimes you have to do it twice or thrice. See, it's just updating it like that. So I just have to be a little quick on my feet. The headings again, you can just use the scaler and then scale to the width, which is 294. As you can see, it sets to the full width and it's smaller than this, which is really good. And it's placed in the center, which is again really good. Now the next step is to fix any inconsistencies in the fonts, in the type, in the colors, anything that you might make an error, error while shifting from your web to your app UI. For that, we will be using something called design lint. And the lint, and, and quick note, the word lint comes from lint roller, which literally removes and this reminds me of lint rollers, which quickly remove dust, hair, and other particles from your clothes. So this will do exactly that. 
it will remove inconsistencies and problems in your design. Now I'm going to select a certain frame. So it's best to start by just selecting the mobile frame here and say run design lint. And once that is done, it will showcase certain errors in your design. As you can see, it is showing me an error. I can quickly say, okay, open what error is this? So it'll say missing fill style, which is FFF. And it's gonna allow me to kind of fix it also. These are just very small changes that you'll have to make, but then you'll have a full complete app UI that has been made in a few seconds. To test it out, as you, uh, the first step we had done was to create this page that allows us to see whether it's just adaptive or not. As you can see, it showcases us in a mobile right here. Before I end it, another great plugin is called Responsively, which does the similar thing as our previous plugin called Breakpoints but it's a little simpler and easier to use in my opinion. It doesn't have a lot of options, but it works really well. As you can see, it works just like this. I, again, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you press that thumbs up button. Also subscribe to my channel for such videos every Monday and Thursday. I think this was really useful. I'm gonna use it in, in the future to convert web designs into app UI. I'll see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care, God bless.